Hey, Birdie, uh, got your message? Thanks for telling me something about you. I'm not totally uh, sure I understand it, though. You said, betrayed my job, ruined my future. That's... Look, first and foremost, I am not judging. Obviously. My, my job wasn't something a lot of people would be proud of, but I'm... I guess I'm confused. How do you betray a job? Do you mean someone at your job? Because, you know, your job, your have-to-earn-a-living-to-survive job doesn't deserve your loyalty. Didn't deserve your loyalty. I'm assuming you're not doing your job anymore. And, I mean, if it makes you feel better, I don't think any of us have a future to ruin anymore. I don't know when exactly your whole thing happened, but... No matter what, it wouldn't have made a difference when everything happened. But it sounds like... I don't know, it sounds like you feel guilty. Maybe I'm reading into nothing. It's six words, after all, and it's not like Morse code has a tone, but... The trade is a big word. That's what I'm sticking on. But I think... Look, I can't tell you how to feel. And obviously, I don't know what your job was, but clearly it was important to you. But I think we have this idea that work is supposed to be everything, you know? You go work in an office so you can make enough money to buy a white picket fence property in the suburbs and feed your wife and two children. And if that was your life and you liked it, I'm not trying to say anything bad about it, but it's not the only way to live, you know? You don't owe an office your life, and living in the suburbs isn't the pinnacle of success. And success isn't the pinnacle of living. I know I'm probably the last person who can speak on this topic with any kind of clear head. I am who I am. I've never done anything traditionally, and I've never worked in a real office in my life. And like I said, I was never going to be anybody's wife. But I'd... I'd invite you to think differently about your situation, whatever the specifics might be. There's a lot to hate about the circumstances we found ourselves in, but if there is an upside, it's that we get to build our own futures now. At least, that's how I'm trying to think of it. I'm out here, aren't I?